So you're getting ready to bring your brand new puppy home. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to be focusing on in those first 24 hours to set you and your new puppy up for huge amounts of success. Now, driving your puppy's home in that first 24 hours can be one of the most stressful experiences. And I highly, highly recommend that you use a crate to get your dogs home, whether that's in your boot or on the back seat. Even if they cry all the way home, it is better safe than sorry. Get home safely and ideally as stress-free as possible. The last thing you want to do is get home and you be absolutely infuriated or scared from the disaster that the drive home was. So use a crate. So next step comes bringing them into their new house, introducing them to their new space. And the biggest tip I can give you for this is to control their environment fully. Do not give them free reign and free access to absolutely everywhere instantly because you will be setting them up for failure and it will be incredibly overwhelming for them. Your best friend to be able to help you control the environment is by using puppy pens and crates. Now that doesn't mean that they have to be confined to them forever, but once you start having success, once they start to settle in, slowly but surely you can start to increase the amount of access to the environment that they have. But by controlling their environment early on, you'll be setting yourself and your glorious little puppies up for massive amounts of success. So now now you need to think about toilet training and toilet training absolutely should be started from day one. Some quick tips to help you master toilet training. Set an alarm on your phone or on your watch and take these guys out to the toilet where you want them to go on the hour, every hour. Take them out to where you want them to go when they wake up from a nap. Take them out where you want them to go when they've just eaten something or just had a drink and then make sure you're closely supervising them. And if you spot them sniffing the ground, circling the ground, they're telltale signs that they need to go out to the toilet. So pick them up and take them out to where you want them to go. When they have success and go in the right place, reward, treat, tell them that they're great little poochie pooches. What? What does that even Then, if they make a mistake, you don't punish them, you clean it up, accept that it was your fault, and do better next time. So after you've started toilet training these guys, I think it's incredibly important that you get them crate trained. Now, we're gonna come on later to survive in the first night, and I promise you'll thank me if in the first day you get successful reps of them settling down in their crate. I know it's tempting to let these little guys fall asleep on you when you're cuddling them, but please, if they need a nap, put them in their crate to have one. If they fall asleep somewhere else, pick them up and put them in their crate to have one. Now, as a professional canine behaviorist, when it comes time to actually start training is naturally where things start to get especially exciting. And I do recommend in your first 24 hours that you absolutely get started on your training sessions with your new puppies. Now, these only need to be 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a couple of minutes long. But I highly recommend that you start doing formal training sessions before every single meal time. Take some of the food that you would feed them normally in their meal and use it to train them. And you can from day one in that first 24 hours, you can start teaching them their name. And it is very common for you to be able to even have a sit command nailed on day one. Now up to this point of your first 24 hours, it's probably been quite fun and you've been quite excited, probably running on lots of endorphins, oxytocin and sheer excitement. However, surviving the first night, this is where it can start to become very negative negative, very traumatizing experience to raise adorable puppies just like this. So here's some tips to help you survive night one. I've got two different styles. You've got the softy softy approach or the tough love approach. Both work, it depends on which one you want to follow. The tough love approach is ask yourself the question, where do you want your dog to sleep long term? Well, from night one, that's where they sleep. If they cry, you ignore it. If they howl, you ignore it. If they bark, you ignore it. And you just keep doing that process night after night after night until they get the point that that's not gonna get them what they want and they need to settle down and go to sleep at night time. The second approach is the more softy softy approach. You can decide where you want them to end up long term, but start with the crate right next to your bed. Do night one or two right next to your bed. Then the next couple of nights, move the crate maybe towards the end of the bed. Do a couple of nights there. Then do a couple of nights with a crate in the doorway. Then put them out in the hall. 
then put them further down the landing, then maybe down towards the bottom of the stairs. You get the idea, just every time, a couple of nights, when it goes well, move them a bit closer to where you want them to end up. If it doesn't go so well, you work through it at that stage. When it does work, you move them on. And that's exactly how I would recommend you survive that first 24 hours with your new adorable puppies. I've done it countless times myself and helped thousands of people achieve it as well. And you absolutely can. Now, if you want more information as your puppy grows and develops to help set you up for huge amounts of success and achieve the perfect canine companion, then simply subscribe to this channel because that's exactly what we do here.